So now we're asked to calculate the exergy of air at a given temperature and pressure. So we have a closed tank. It contains one kilogram of air. Five bar, 470K, the air is at rest with negligible elevation relative to an exergy reference environment for which the dead state temperature is 300 Kelvin. So you don't have to interpolate in the table instead of 298 Kelvin. And one bar, determine the exergy of the air. Is it the same equation? The exergy is going to be the mass times U minus U naught plus P naught V minus V naught minus T naught S minus S naught plus KE plus PE. Is it the same equation? Did I write it correctly? Thumbs up. Good. No kinetic potential energy for this problem. And now it's a challenge. When you see the word air, you know ideal gas. You can verify that, but looking at a number of problems, this pressure is not extreme, the temperature is not extreme. You know, the temperature would need to be extremely low for it to start to behave as a real gas, or maybe you know, start to condense out the oxygen or nitrogen. Or the pressure would have to be extremely high. Neither of these cases apply ideal gas, right? Like the majority of times you see air. So how do I find these properties? How do I find U at 470 Kelvin for air? Go to the air tables. And I think it's not, no need to interpolate. I think there's a line in there for 470, isn't it not? Is there a line for 470? Yes, there is. Very good. I picked one so you didn't have to interpolate. And then U naught, it's the same table but evaluated at 300 <coughs> Kelvin. And there's a line for 300 Kelvin, true? All right. Now the real challenge, and I'm going to pause, is I want you to work on this term and this term. And before you get numbers, show me the equation that you're going to use. I want you to think, not just watch, right? So show me the equation. Write down. And when you think you know how you're going to evaluate that, don't, get me, don't show me numbers. Show me the equation to get it for both of those. OK? I'll pause and walk around. All right, so what I was looking for is for somebody to say, OK, P naught times V, but always V for an ideal gas is RT over P, true? So this, this becomes P naught uh, times RT over P minus RT naught over P naught. How's that? Maybe I should get rid of these extra brackets right there. You see that? And uh, so I can put maybe, I don't know, P naught R times T over P minus T naught over P naught. Crunch away with that if you like. Or there's other options. But what is this R? It's R bar divided by the molar mass of air, 0.287, just because you use it often in thermodynamics. You don't have to memorize it. You can memorize 8.314 divided by 28.97, and there you go. And this is in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Or if you don't like the kilojoule, what do you replace the kilojoule by? Kilopascal meter cubed is precisely one kilojoule. One kilojoule is equal to? Kilo Pascal times a meter cube. Agree? So sometimes you'll see R written one way and then the R written the other, and you say, hey, I thought it was kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Now they're showing me it's kilopascal meter cube divided by kilogram Kelvin. But anyway, uh, how about over here, this term, how about this? S naught minus S naught zero, dead state, minus R, natural log of P over P naught. What? Okay, 
Thumbs up if you like that. So let's go through everything. This is a subscript zero, meaning evaluated at 300 Kelvin, the dead state temperature. This is a superscript little o, naught, or something like that, right? That S naught with a superscript is a column in the air tables. What does that naught mean? One ATM, low pressure. It's no, it's it's it. This is the temperature only part. This is a function of temperature only in the evaluation of entropy or entropy change, and this is the function of pressure only for ideal gas. And in the air tables, you have S naughts. Okay. And so, um, should there be a minus sign here or a plus sign? Minus sign. Should there be an R bar here? Or just R? R. If you put an R bar there, you need a S bars. What does the bar mean? Average? That was a different class. <laughs> Another class we'll use when they put a bar over top. It'll be average, right? But what does the bar in our appendix for this thermodynamics textbook mean? Molar on a molar basis. Without the bar, on a mass basis. True? Yes, sir. Yes, I uh, was only doing this part right here, but you're right. Put T naught there, and then we're finished. Got it? Should we put in 300 Kelvin? Yes, put in Kelvin, 300 Kelvin. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, give you the final answer. So here, the exergy of the air is 66.5 kilojoules, and you should be able to fill in the details and get that answer. Okay? Last chance for questions before I move on. Yes, sir. Sir, on the, when you get, get the mass out of the parentheses, right. how does that work for the potential energy? Uh, the potential energy, instead of being MGZ for cap PE, its lowercase PE is just GZ. That's it. Not too surprising. <laughs>